And welcome to another adventure into that. I mean, the Golden Apple Apple Killer Go. <laughs> so, right now we have a new story to watch, and actually, because I went conch searching, I got some things for you guys to see. Uh, for example, the clip that I'll show now, because one conch is like a. um. a storyline. Alright? So, if you guys saw that storyline, then, well, that's that. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to jump now, but anyways. Um, because these, I think those, like, people that were talking, like, were the Fatui that were previously here. But today, I think um, there's going to be a little bit more Fatui story in the GAA for now. And right now, I'm doing this because I found possibly the Cappy Child, and I'm out of stam. Alright, um, hurry up, and I need to turn on my camera again because it's lagging. And, um, also, by the way, today is the second, um, second time that we can get, go do the Hoyo Quiz. As the day for me recording this, and I didn't get it, so I better get a lot of primal gems because you guys all know I'm F2P. I maybe I'm willing to do a Welkin once in a while, um, not to break the contract between us, but I think I need to do it since Klee is a super hard to get um, character, and also. Because I don't think I'm- uh, wrong menu. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that many primos from this event, so I just unlocked a few, like, hangout event quests. Because it gives you a plenty, like, of 60 primo gems per event. Uh, right now, let's just do the GAA storyline. Wake up! Traveler, wake up! Oh, thank goodness you're awake! Uh, Pilot has good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Ah! Okay, okay, Pilot, sorry! Wake up, something's happened! Go on, I'm listening. Okay, uh, bad news first. The bad news is, something weird's going on with this island. And the good news is, uh, is, it seems like it has nothing to do with what we came across yesterday. Today is a different issue entirely. And what might that be? By the way, where was Lumine sleeping? Was she sleeping on the floor? Oh well. Ah, look! She's awake! Careful not to frighten her. She's probably just like the others. Ah, humans. Such delicate little things. How are you doing, mate? Feeling a little fragile? So, as you can see, the boat can talk. <laughs> I might just go back to sleep for a bit. No! Avoidance isn't gonna solve anything! Poor soul. Imagine being scared of talking squirrels and boats. Ha! <laughs> well, we can't blame her. After all, humans aren't quite accustomed to hearing things like us talk. Wait, have you guys always been able to talk? <laughs> of course! Otherwise, how would we communicate with others of our kind? So in other words, we suddenly gained the ability to understand you? Huh. How strange! Maybe you've gained some intelligence. Congratulations! 
so you're finally awake. Time to rise and shine. <sighs> you're back. Yes, we went for a little walk. The enchanting scenery and pleasant weather here soothes the body and mind. Everything is fine, except that some places are a little peculiar. Oh, <laughs> the servants of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanok Reich is nigh. Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. No, that's not even close to what she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. What happened? After last night, there have been some... unusual spectacles on this island. Yes. Swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. There was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, but my scry glass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm... I had resolved to summon the Imanokreich in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the Condemned, trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait! You don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Aye, well, they've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. Exactly! If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? This environment? What do you mean by that? Oh, the environment? Could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? I might be still dreaming. Ah, uh, even if you were... Dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels! Uh, ah! What's wrong? Look! Over there! Illusion? No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Those things we saw flickering in and out, that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. <gasps> Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? Wait, what? Ahem! Oh, behold! The Amanagrash has come, just as your princessin had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, Main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes, and now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice. <laughs> Welcome to the Yamanakarash. He looks so happy. Paimon 
Helen doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha. Hit me. Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Aye, so they do. A pity to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest ship you'll find in all of these parts. The names... Uh... Just call me whatever takes your fancy. Don't you have a name? That I do. I... just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In that case... Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too! Is this a throwback to... Tsurumi Island? Is Ru actually a boat turned into a human? Wait, that's not the case, right? Mitaburu! Ha! That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that animal archon who abandoned us here. The animal archon? You know, the animal archon of Mondstadt. Don't you know? Some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the Animal Archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chucked them into the ocean. My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched Animal Archon. How could that happen? From the sounds of it, I think it's more the ancient ball than Venti. I don't believe Venti has that much power. Or does he? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well, so we built ourselves a kingdom here. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. Can't see that coming. Sounds like the Imranach Reich is a kingdom of squirrels. <gasps> Hold thy tongue! Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imranach Reich is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey! Lad, yes, you. You're from Inazuma, eh? That makes us brothers, ha! <laughs> Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? Aye, aye, uh, ready, kids? Aye, aye, um, sorry. This is not the time to do a sponge robbing. <laughs> 
To set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Aye, you need lots of courage and just a dash of heartlessness. Cause once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The Wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at this strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma, so I believe he speaks the truth. Huh. Well, what does everyone think? Oz, lay down the gangplank! Thy princessin shall take to the seas! Let's all go! It'll definitely be an experience! Ha! Great! And we're off! Safe travels! Going, lads and lassies. Mitoboru admires your bravery. How long have you been here? Oh, it's not your first time. Ha! Well, I never. Just want to talk to the squirrel again. Just to make sure we didn't miss any, well, dialogue. Hey, friend. Your eyes betray your thoughts. You still look very bemused. Oh, come now. Do you see me acting surprised at the sudden arrival of you and your party? Well then, I'm sure we can get along quite amicably. If you want to know where the most scrumptious pine cones are, come find me anytime. Ah, <sighs> Mondstadt, I wonder what it's really like. Good thing I returned, otherwise we'd have missed that. All right, let's go, Mitoboru. Um, editor? Probably a fast forward here is nice. Unless, of course, in the middle, I haven't viewed this storyline before, so of course I don't know. Unless in the middle, there's going to be dialogue. We're almost there! Please take all your personal belongings with you, and mind your s- Look! There's something over there! It's... Let's take a closer look. Oops. Well, actually, for this, I think it should change its name to Summon Mitoko, but... Welp. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. I saw it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. 
And though I still don't understand why it has appeared here, I can give that a try. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna be that simple. Where is Kazuha? Huh? Oh yeah! Everyone's here except for Kazuha. Kazuha, where are you? Are you okay? No response. Well, let's keep an eye out for him. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. <laughs> Angles of depression. Sorry, I misunderstood. This is definitely interesting. Huh, okay. Letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes, it just seems so unbelievable. Well, guys, I think I want to investigate a little bit further in the next episode, just to keep the mysterious in, and to keep Lumina awake, of course. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and also leave a comment. And if you can't do so, make sure to also tap that subscribe button and also bell. And also, remember, if you do not want to let Lumina keep on yawning, Make sure to keep on following this series, and we'll meet you all next time.